Okay, first I'm showing you my address. <laughs> I do this every video. That belonged to his grandmother. Is it his? And into the name of, what's her name? Something. Merit. Name's the child Merit. 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 To, where's the house? South Carolina. <laughs> It's Jay, and I'm here with an unboxing. I got a lot of packages when I was away at university, and I thought I would open them and show you them now. So without further ado, let us get started. The first package is from Penguin Canada. And it's probably from Goodreads, which I'm pretty sure all of these are from one of the most Goodreads, because I don't have publishers who send me books just because. Unless you want to, hey okay, publishers, send me books just because. Sound of Glass by Karen White. This book is about a woman named Merritt Hayward, whose husband Cal just recently died in a tragic way, and his grandmother's house is now signed into her name. The story basically follows Merritt going to South Carolina where the house is and uncovering a bunch of mysterious things that she didn't know about Cal, and it's basically her story. So it sounds really interesting, so if you're interested, look it up on Goodreads. It has really good ratings, a 4.30 star. The next book is also from Penguin. I'm assuming it's probably another giveaway. So we're just going to open it. Well, that didn't work out. Open half of the package. A Malloc Mystery, The Faces of God. This book is by Jean Dennis Bruet Fierol, who writes under the pen name Malloc. So that's why there's no author, because it's... That's the author. But I really like this cover. It's really cool. This book follows Malik, a detective who is looking for the serial killer Dean the Makeup Artist. And it's basically the story of him trying to find it and all that mystery thriller stuff. And it says that the makeup artist is actually the devil or something. I don't know. Look it up on Goodreads. It has a 4.20 rating. Sounds interesting. We'll see what I think of it. And I'll put it in my wrap up and then you can watch the wrap up and then it, it will make sense. The next package is also from Penguin. The next book is Billy by Anna Galvada and I believe it is a romance between a boy named Frank and a girl named Billy. And I really like the cover because I'm obsessed with Paris. Like I want to go there so bad and it's set in Paris so I'm really excited to read this book. It was translated from French so it should be really interesting. I'm excited and it's pretty short so I feel like it will be pretty easy to get through. It's only 165 pages. And my last package for the day is from Random House Canada. I'm pretty sure it's another giveaway. I hate packages. I never get into The next book is I Take You by Eliza Kennedy. And this book, I'm obsessed with the cover. It is so pretty. And the back says, I want you, I need you, I love you, I take you, introducing a bride-to-be who has absolutely no business getting married. It follows a woman named Lily Wilder who is about to be married, except she has one problem, she loves men a lot, and she doesn't know if walking down the aisle is truly what she wants to do. And I'm really excited to read this book, it sounds really good. So I will let you guys know what I think of it later. Alright guys, that was my four packages that I won off of Goodreads. I will let you know what I think of all the books later on once I'm finished them. Watch my wrap-ups, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! I'm really bad at synopsis when I haven't read the book, so I'm really sorry. Guys, she has a donkey. How sick is that? I want a pet donkey. It's one of those soft covers, guys. I don't want to rub my face all over it. The best part about unboxings is all the cleanup afterwards, because it takes so long to clean up all the packages. Clean up, clean up, everybody, everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody, do your share.